I'd like to show you a quick tip, rigging a tie, but this tie, it's got the top buttons undone and the tie is quite loose. This is really tricky. And one of the hardest parts of this is just getting the cable inside the tie knot without seeing the cable going into the tie knot. You see from this, you're, you might get situations where you'll see the cable going round and through. So I want to show you a quick tip technique to avoid that. So what I do is you can see this button here is done. I'm going to undo that button and this is directly underneath where the knot is. Now I'm going to take the mic, this is the DPA 4060, and I'm going to put it through that cable hole, sorry, button hole, and do the button back up like that. And I want to do the button back up so that the cable is going out that way. So now I've got this, and it's actually quite, it's quite tight now, which is great. So lift up the tie, and you see there's a slit just here. I'm going to go into that slit diagonally, and at the top of the tie, the mic's just going to pop out just about here. So just push that a little bit. And there it is. Pull that through. Now, some people rig the tie downwards all the time in a tie. That can work really well, but my preference, my problem really with ties that are rigged with the mic down is that you get two problems. Firstly, what happens is you end up creating a little bit of a dimple in the tie. So just pull it down there. Let's just say that was all neat and tidy. Pull the cable back. What you end up with is a little bit of an impression. Now, sometimes that might be fine, other times you don't really want to make an impression. You want it tied to be really nice and tight. So that can be a problem. Also, the mic is facing loads of fabric. It might pick up fabric rustling noise. What I like to do is take the mic, turn it upside down, and put it upwards in the tie, like this and leave it like that. I might put some sticky tape, wrap it in a little bit of tape or Joe's sticky stuff to hold it in place. And now you just pull the cable, just pull this down, just so it's nice and tight. Maybe I'd put a little bit of, cable, a bit of tape just there to, to hold the tape in place, to hold the cable there. And now you've got a tie which is rigged up with the microphone facing up, facing the free open air, which is great, no rustle from the fabric. And if you turn the body to the side, you really are going to not see the cable so much because it's basically hidden between the layers of the fabric. So it's easier placement for the cable, easier to get it into the tie, and on the whole, it's a nice clean rig. Okay, I hope that's been useful.